Hey guys, it's Mary from Sophisticates by Mary. Welcome back to another tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this gorgeous emerald green and white two-tiered cake for an actual wedding that we did at the bakery. And I added some edible gold leaf as well. So stick around and we'll get right to it. First thing we need to do is get our cakes ready. And you will notice that there are way more cakes here than what we're actually using for this video. Um, this week was the week before Christmas and we had two weddings to do. So the other cakes are for another tutorial. So you'll see some of this footage kind of um, played again, probably for the next tutorial, but only on the other cakes. So for this cake, we did two tiers. It was a six inch and an eight inch and they were both red velvet. And we add chocolate chips to our red velvet and I'm damming it with a thickened buttercream doing a layer of uh, cream cheese, buttercream, and they requested a raspberry filling also. Now, I personally have never had that combination, but I can't imagine that it would be bad. Just I haven't tried it before. So we're gonna do this for both of the cakes. They all, both of the cakes have three layers of cake, two layers of filling, and it's the same flavor all the way throughout the cake. I'm just reinforcing that filling, making sure that it's not going to seep out and put it in the refrigerator to chill for a good 30 minutes before I did the next step. Now I'm only going to show you the 6 inch, but just know that I did the same thing for the 8 inch as well. So this is our crumb coat and the crumb coat is just a thin layer of buttercream that locks in those crumbs so that when you do your final coat of buttercream you are not going to have to deal with those and you won't see them. They'll be locked in. And we definitely need to put that in the freezer to chill for, what did I do, about 20 minutes. And then this is our final coat on the bottom tier. Now this is an emerald green. How did I mix this? I believe I used forest green and I added a little bit of um, royal, I believe royal coloring to add a little bit of um, a blue undertone so it's not too green, but we wanted it the, the deeper emerald green. Now you can see in the final picture that it did oxidize darker. It's always going to do that. And see those edges? Ugh, it's driving me crazy. Those are those kind of uh, frayed edges that we're getting with our buttercream now with the change. Obviously there's a change in our butter. They've added water or something. I can't find, I've Googled it. They're not admitting to anything yet. <laughs> and I don't think it's all brands. Um, our Sam's Club butter is fine. It's other retailers, I won't mention names because I don't want to get in trouble, that seem to have a difference in the butter. We're getting through it. I have found that if you pop it in your microwave, the finished buttercream, you pop it in the microwave for about 10 minutes. I'm sorry, wow, that would be horrible. 10 seconds. <laughs> 10 to 15 seconds, it um, kind of thins it down a little bit and it's spreadable again, but it always goes back to that thick, chunky, um, heavy sand, can, you know, texture. It's fine when it's on the cake. It's just working with it is kind of difficult. Anyway, rant over. And then we're just doing the white on the top tier. I'll le leave a link to the recipe for the buttercream. Um, hopefully you can find a butter that will work better for you and hopefully this will end when the food craziness is not such a big deal. So we added some texture to the bottom. I call this palette knife texture or spackling kind of texture. Um, you're really just roughly putting buttercream on it and just kind of smoothing it in little uh, sweeping motions is really what it is. And you want to kind of make sure that they're random so you're not getting the same pattern all the way around the cake. Just kind of angle your arm in different different directions and make sure you're getting a more random look.
and go ahead and pop it in your fridge again while you are um, doing your top tier. I kind of uploaded this in a different order, but I work with one cake while the other one's chilling is what I do. And then we're going to go ahead and pop in our supports. I did five supports. I mark the five points with a star cutter and just on the top and then I just cut them all to the same height and just place them in and added a little bit of buttercream on top of those so that the top tier sticks and doesn't slide around. And since this tier is chilled, I can just lift it up and place it. And by the way, guys, I am going to upload, I don't know if I've done it before or after this video, this tutorial, but I'm using the same footage and I have a long video. It's um, real time decorating. It's edited so you're not seeing um, the downtime. So you're just seeing the actual work time, but it is at actual um, real speed. So if you wanna see that, if you're a junkie for uh, for cake decorating t decorating tutorials and you want to see then all the details go check out that that video as well but make sure that you allow yourself 40 minutes because it's 40 minutes long we're gonna see if there's a um, interest in that I'm gonna try it and then I had put the whole cake in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes just so when I pull it out it has a little bit of condensation and I am using the edible gold leaf and I do not have to actually um, add anything to the cake because of the condensation. If you needed to add some liquid, you can just use your brush and put a little water where you want that gold leaf. Make sure you're using edible, edible gold leaf also. Just wanna make sure that I ha add that little disclaimer. And we wanted to add quite a bit of gold on this one. And use your fluffy brush. Use a, a fluffy brush like that. That's just a makeup brush, but it's never been used on makeup. I've only used it on my cakes. Um, just to kind of tap down that gold. And it also kind of mutes out the brightness of it a little bit. If you want more of kind of an antique aged look, do that with your brush. It just kind of breaks up the, um, the shininess just a little bit. And do it on the bottom tier also. Now there's my boss delivered this cake, so she added the floral to it. And I knew where she was gonna put that floral, so I put the gold leaf according to where those bunches of flowers were going to be. Unfortunately, I could not go with her on the delivery to uh, film the, the flower placement or to do it myself and then film it. Um, just because I was at work doing the other cake that was gonna be delivered the next day. We had weddings on Thursday and Friday because of Christmas week. So I had to stay at work and do that. But I do have other videos where you see me actually placing the floral if you want to see those. I'll try to remember to attach the links to those or in the description box so that you can go and see how I do that. And here's the finished product. I know you saw it at the beginning, but um, because I couldn't, since I didn't go on the delivery, I couldn't film my little video. So I'm just placing the picture at the venue. I think it turned out really pretty. And this is a really gorgeous venue. So I hope you liked it. And remember to check out the long video if you would like to. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you'd like to watch some other videos, go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here. And if you would like to Check out my other social media. I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next tutorial.